Hey everyone, this is Ian with Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. Today I've got this 2006 Honda Goldwing Trek to show you. It has only 37,000 miles on it, which of course is low for a uh, Goldwing uh, platform vehicle. And don't forget to subscribe so then you don't miss the daily motoring content that we give you. But now, let's get into this Goldwing. So let's start out by going over just what this is exactly. Um, it is a 2006 Honda uh, GL1800 Goldwing, and then it was converted into a trike using a Roadsmith uh, HTS1800 kit. So these, uh, these kits are, I believe, some of the best ones you can get on the market, and it really kind of speaks for itself. Um, you know, in this video, we're going to be going over the uh, condition of this, but we will um, kind of see all the all the goodies this thing has as well. Um, and with these trike kits, uh, there are different options you can get on them. Um, and this one, I believe, has most of the options, which we'll touch on um, just a little bit. But first, let's start at the front and just work our way to the back. The paint is in very, very nice shape um, with minimum wear or, or scuffs scratches all the chrome especially in the front of the bike these front disc brake covers even our chrome behind the front wheel which usually gets you know uh, lots of road debris and the like on it you can just tell how well taken care of uh, this this gold wing was because all the front of it is in really really nice shape even the windscreen there's no scuffs or scratches standing out which we know the plastic uh, windscreens on any motorcycle um, are, are pretty pretty prone to that checking out our chrome i can see my reflection in it there is a little bit of wear uh, to note right here we can see this little rubber pads uh, peeling up a little bit um, but of course um, if desired this just rubber piece could be um, replaced but really it's no big deal we have our heel toe shifter right here um, this rides beautifully and uh, clicks through the gears very smoothly we have the condition of the chrome wheels on the back let me make my way to the other side we've got the condition of the kind of highway foot pegs there on the front rear brake uh, one of the things this trike has is the e-brake or a parking brake which works very nice I believe that was one of the extra accessories you can order um, you can get with these kits seeing the condition of the paint now on the right side we can see just a couple minor scuffs right here from kind of normal use getting on and off of it condition of the rear alloys very nice Checking out our seating, we can see the leather. It's still very plush, very soft. Um, it's not, uh, you know, cracked or tearing in any way. It just looks normal for the age. And I say normal for the age, but it's in very good condition for the age, <laughs> I should say. Uh, all of our the armrests here, um, these swivel back and forth because uh, you do to open this flips forward because there's a trunk behind here so to do that you just have to rotate these to the side which i will show you in a couple minutes um, but these all operate beautifully and a thing i really noticed and like about this trike kit is they they maximize your cargo space um, anywhere they can so like even these little areas here all of the I'm going to move that a little bit, and then this opens freely. Uh, all this works beautifully, all these covers, and, and you just have all this room. And we see right here, there's a rear heated seat, which uh, it is turned to max right now as I was just driving this, and it is nice and warm. It's a bit chilly out today. Um, all the heated seats work. There's a rear heated seat, uh, the, the driver's or rider's heated seat, and the grips are heated as well, which we have those controls up here, um, this front seat heater and the grip heater. And since I'm at the front, I'm just going to, like, get on it here and show you the cockpit. We have the gauges there. Many, many goodies on this. 
It's a CB radio, so you have some of those controls on there. One of the goodies on this as well uh, are the, uh, there's a rear uh, preload adjust for the rear suspension, which you can do uh, electronically. You have conditions for navigation system, or controls for the navigation system, sorry. Uh, this has an electric reverse as well, so when you're running and in neutral, uh, you would push this switch in and then use the start button, and that uh, clicks on that motor and propels you backwards. It has cruise control as well, and there's also many other <laughs> various goodies and switches that operate uh, many lights and things of that nature. Let me turn on the ignition for you so you can see our navigation screen power up here. In general, information screen, you know, you can view uh, the radio on here, your trip, your mileage, uh, some of the other items as well. Let me just show you these buttons work great. If I go to info, we have our air temp. It feels more like 42 outside because it's kind of windy, um, but that is pretty cool. We have our suspension preload, as I mentioned. Um, we can see it's set kind of in the middle there, and all that works beautifully. Really just a very cool machine. We have our different trips there. We can set our uh, brightness with this dim switch. So, and of course, all the many other controls to go through different modes and, and switch to different things. So, all very exciting. We have our vents here. All work beautifully. It's really just, a, it's a really cool machine. Let me, uh, I have the key here. We have the lockable fuel door. Everything's in nice shape there. It clicks nice and firmly. The locks work great. They're nice and smooth. And I'll note, uh, mention as well, the clutch and brake operation is very smooth. Um, has a hydraulic uh, clutch on this, and the the front uh, the levers are adjustable with these little dials as well, so you can really dial those in for the uh, maximum amount of comfort that you're looking for. And we even have these little cubbies up here, which it looks like in this one, there's um, some extra fuses, which no matter what vehicle you have, it's always good to have extras there. And then this panel over here um, just looks like it's a cover panel, probably for the, the wiring or switches over here. So now making our way towards the rear. Uh, the rear trunks, I say trunks because there's actually two of them. There's one uh, in here and in here. So first, let me rotate these armrests out of the way. I'm snar sorry if you hear me <laughs> sniffling a little bit. Like I said, it's a bit chilly today. Uh, I will mention this uh, sort of antenna here. We did order a replacement cap, uh, cap for this as it was missing. We can see this side has one and we got the closest thing we could find to match um, for this side just to mention that. And now back to our uh, trunks here. So the levers for them are under here. There's a couple different levers to pull on. Um, and I have it unlocked now, so I can I can show you. So I'm gonna first open our top one. Um, so excuse me one second, it is kind of a two-handed operation because you just need to pull the lever and then pull the trunk up. As I do this, this flips forward very smoothly. Uh, on the underside of the the trunk lid we have all this uh, all these storage areas these little mesh pouches um, you can secure items in which is all very cool and plenty of room in here um, for whatever you know you need to <laughs> you need to store and we have this floor that we can pop up as well and remove so I'll put that there for now we have the original owner's manual and toolkit um, so all very exciting really just so it shows how well uh, this thing was cared for with all the original items being included and everything just the build quality of this is awesome like all the latches have a very satisfying click to them there's no having to like <laughs> secure it a certain way or push it a certain way it all just it all just works like it would on on you know a, any high quality item uh, now I'm gonna open this rear hatch um, using one of the, the levers under here and bear with me one moment because once again, I do need two hands. So same thing, you just pull the lever and you just have to pull this out a little bit because it is a very uh, secure latch. Tons of room in here. 
We have this little kind of cubby pass through up here. I did mention a few minutes ago, really anywhere they could, they designed, uh, you know, areas for storage, which on any sort of motorcycle, you know, type machine is always appreciated. Uh, we have these, these zip ties, I will mention these will be um, cut flush. Um, I just realized those are sticking up. But like I said, those will be trimmed because those um, have to do with the license plate mounting bracket. So now pushing this back up. Um, I will mention quickly before I do that, um, all the gaskets are in really nice shape. There's no tearing or, or dry cracking. So that latches very nicely. All the chrome is in very nice shape. We have these awesome turned down exhausts. Um, this thing sounds really sweet too. Once we hear it, we'll hear it run in a few minutes. It has a, a tow bar on it. So uh, I will show you in a few minutes as well. There is an optional uh, trailer to go with this. The rear bumper, I believe Roadmaster calls it, or uh, Roadsmith calls it the uh, Nerf bar. That was another accessory as well as the uh, mud flaps here. Once again, all of our lenses are very clear. Paint is in really nice shape. Chrome is in really nice shape. Really kind of speaks for itself. And just peeking under the underbody of what you can see there. Um, it's, all, it's all in very tidy shape under there, as it should be. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, start this up for you. So to start it, all we're gonna do is put our key in to the on position. I'll step on. You can see the light, we're in neutral. And all there is to it is hitting our start button, which is right here. So it's right up, it runs so smooth. I'll show you the exhaust. The exhaust is nice and clean. Sounds really good too. So, you know, the engine engine's in very nice shape and was maintained very regularly, as we can tell. Uh, no, uh, you know, smoking or, or anything from uh, a cold start. So you can see our various indicators here. Um, it is a bit low on fuel, which we would fill up before uh, passing it on to its next owner, and we even have a temperature gauge as well. So all very cool. So now what I'm gonna do is show you this uh, running and driving. But now while it's running, we see we have some, we have those marker lights on the mirrors. We have these cool little daytime running markers. So all very exciting. So now I'm just gonna go up and down the lot here, just showing you how well this thing shifts through the gears. Runs very smooth as I just showed you. Um, that was a cold start. So let's get to it. Runs, stops, very smooth. And the reverse works great, which I'll show you. I'm in neutral, so I'll push my button. And now we're reversing very smoothly. And then we can go back to drive, or first gear. So now that I've shown you, uh, just taking this for a quick spin, uh, there is an optional trailer to go with this, so I will grab that and show you that now. And now with the camera back in hand, I pulled the trailer over here. So we can show you uh, through this cool little trailer. So it has this like little pad on the front, uh, very stylish, we can see the chrome even on the connection point here, uh, even the little the little stand, which these, you know, they'll commonly <laughs> corrode and not look great because they're always on the ground. Uh, everything is just in 
very, very nice condition. Has some minimal, uh, you know, scratches and scuffs here and there, as you'll see. We have all the lighting. And once again, the chrome and that bumper. It's in great shape. I like the spoiler. Um, how <laughs> the trailer has a spoiler on it with a light under it. I think that's pretty cool. And we have a rack on here, so you could, you know, secure extra items to the rack. And it even comes with a, uh, seems to be color matched cooler on the front. Um, of course, you could put a cooler of your choice in there because it has a holder where as long as it fits in there, you could kind of put whatever you want in there. Um, but that's cool too to keep your drinks nice and cool as you ride to the beach or wherever you're going or your lunch. Uh, these locks on the back work great in the latches. So then this pulls right up and they are pneumatic. You can see the pneumatic struts there so then now the lid stays open on its own and we can put many many goodies in here as a nice carpet floor of course there's a little bit of discoloration here and there from being used but it could easily be replaced with another piece and cut how it needs to be but the Condition of like the tub, the structural integrity, there's no cracks or tears or any any funny business. It's all in very, very good shape. Same thing with the, the lid here. So we shut this, turn these back, and we can see now it's locked. So that is an optional extra with the uh, gold wing. So thank you for watching this video. Now you've uh, had a rundown of you know some of the highlight features of this uh, of this Roadsmith uh, Goldwing trike, as well as the little trailer that comes with it. Oh, and let me show you real quick. I forgot to mention the condition of the chrome on the trailer wheels. There is an extra tire under there, um, and we can see the condition of the underside of the trailer as well. It's in very nice shape. There's no. There's no, uh, you know, rust damage or anything. And we have our other side, which is in good shape as well. So now that you've seen that, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you have any other questions or anything I missed, uh, give us a call 978-263-9000 or leave a comment down below and we'll try to answer you uh, on that. So don't forget to leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button so then you don't miss the daily motoring content that we strive to give you. This has been Ian reporting from our Boxboro location, and until next time.